everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. I'm doing a video tour today. Oh my gosh, Josh, maybe kind of show them right and left where you're standing there, but we're at 532, 532 South Broad Street in uh, Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. And you can see, nice residential neighborhood here. Josh is looking south there when he's looking left. Right now towards the house, we're actually facing towards the west. But uh, this is a beautiful home. Now, you would probably not have any idea that we're, that it's almost uh, fall time and uh, Halloween time. This owner, she's an awesome decorator. Wait till you see inside here. But a couple things I'll point out here real quick. I guess, Josh, if you turn to your right there, so now Josh is looking north, looking at the super cool, awesome red Jeep there. That is not included with the sale. Well, I guess Josh, if the price is right, he could leave it Absolutely, up. everything's yeah. negotiable. Um, but uh, the reason I'm having Josh look that way, that is where the school, park, the stores, you can walk to anywhere from here. Now, this house to the right, and the house that we're selling, 532 South Broad Street. They have, it's not really a shared driveway because there's a line in between this, but the left side is for the subject property we're selling, the right side is for the neighbor over there then. But come on in, let me show you inside here. There's a, just a lot of nice features to tell you about. It's got a nice nice porch here then for sitting. Uh, we think the roof is about 11 years old, so I'll say between 10 and 12 years old then. And we've got natural gas here, and we've got, uh, what do we got? We just got all kind of cool things here. But you're going to see as Josh is kind of scanning, I would probably call this a front room or a den area. You're going to see there's four rooms downstairs here. Um, you can see right now they just, just kind of have some of their personal property in here. But I've seen people use this, what, office areas, Josh, and mm -hmm. they can use yeah. maybe a treadmill, that sort of thing. And then... You can see this little rascal here. I'm not going to get too close because the little guy eats me. Not the last animal we'll be seeing. Yeah, that's true. Of course, in here, got the living room area. And I don't know if you noticed, but it's got the wood floors on um, that look like they've been redone at some point. They're, they're really nice. And then, Josh, I think we got, yeah, these are all the, yeah, it's like the double pane thermal windows that have the doohickey so you can open them for cleaning. I'm not going to do that in case I break a window. And then, actually, you know what, Josh, let's take them through this way here. Careful you don't trip here on this step right here. Oh, yeah, that one right there, Josh. Don't be careful on that. So here's the other two of the four rooms I was talking about downstairs here. But we have a ginormous uh, dining room here. And again, it's got the wood ceiling. So if you like a country decor, this house is over the top. And isn't what I said earlier, like, she really does a lot of nice decorating here then. Um, oh, by the way, ginormous is a professional real estate term, Josh. Okay, here we have, you know, the island where you can sit and eat. I don't think they're leaving the stools, but I guess we can ask them about that. But, oh my gosh, there's so many cool things going on inside this kitchen here. Number one, you have just a ton of cabinet spaces here. You have the double oven. I guess this is an oven for Smurfs right here then. Oh, that lo looks like that just holds the, holds the pan and stuff like that. I thought that was a Smurf oven there. Of course, here we have the stove top, microwave, of course, the refrigerator there, big double sink right here, and uh, there's a dishwasher. Lots of cabinet or a countertop space in addition to the cabinet space then. Big window for light coming in. Tile floor. Hey, Josh, am I missing it? It's an awesome house. This really is an awesome house, an awesome kitchen then. All right, let me think here. So I guess, Josh, if you turn to your left, just kind of showing you guys how the the, the layout is the downstairs here. So here again, we have that front room. So four rooms. Tell you what, Josh, why don't we do this? Guys, we're gonna hit pause and then we're gonna go out and we'll show you the yard first and then we'll show you the second floor second. So we'll be, we'll be right back. Josh, Josh, get over here. Oh my gosh. This is one of the coolest backyards that I think I've ever done a video tour on. And I've done a lot of nice, cool, awesome backyards then. But Josh, of course, did you show them the, uh, the little deck area there when you were walking out then? So we got a, a back patio. But what did the owner tell us? What do you, what do you call that? An underground irrigation, irrigation system, system then? Yep. Okay, so I don't know what that completely means. I know it's underground and it's an irrigation. But what happens over by your hose area, if you turn that on, he actually has buried that the water will uh, automatically water the plants under here. So if you're a green thumb, you like plants and stuff then, they automatically be watered. You can see the whole yard is fenced in. So if you have kids or pets, or you just don't want your neighbors coming in your backyard, you got a big fence here for it then. Um, 
Josh, I guess I'll just kind of let you walk and I'll kind of talk beside you here. Of course, where I was sitting, I was sitting at the Tiki Bar over here. Um, I was waiting for somebody to come over and serve me a sandwich or something, but it didn't happen then. But this, what a neat area here. And there's a, it's a one car garage door, but it's the length of two cars, can I say nose to nose then? So I'm gonna call it either an oversized one car garage or a two car if you're parking nose to nose. Does that make, make sense? Hope that makes sense. Um, watch yourself here. And then in the back area here, and, and Josh, I'll like I said, you just keep spinning the camera there and showing them different things because there's so many neat features here then to show you within the yard. Now over here we have a fire pit area. So this is a neat spot if you enjoy a campfire with friends and whatnot then. I, uh, I think they would take the seats with them or they would probably leave them. I guess that's up to you. That's not exactly an easy move, is it there, I guess. But again, you can see all the fence and yard. But Josh, let's go show them. This is one of the coolest features ever in a backyard. Come on, we'll show them this way. And again, Josh, you can kind of just keep scanning and show the audience. Um, this is like Disney here. You can see here, Josh, we've got some guinea pigs out here. And that's, and here, we've got a bunny rabbit. Um, if you want guinea pigs or rabbits included in the sale, we'll do that. I think that actually would be my first sale ever in 34 years if a guinea pig was included with the sale. But no, I had I had a sale years ago, Josh, that there was 18 or 19 sheep included. <laughs> that was a pretty bad sale that I had. But that's, uh, uh, I know, I know, I couldn't even resist. But Josh, look at this here. Come on here, Josh, this is so exciting. Look down in here. So what the owner did, of course, he's got that underground irrigation system just for watering the plants. But what he also built underneath the ground, and there's a couple spots, there's a tunnel system where the guinea pig or rabbit or whatever you put in here, they can go through underneath the ground. But then there's like this viewing area where you can actually see them. Have you ever seen anything like that, Nothing. Josh? No. no. I mean, maybe Clyde Peelings or the zoo or something like that. But, oh man, what just, what a fun yard, huh? All right, Josh, anything else here to show them? Pretty good. I don't think so. Oh, we'll just show them the back porch here. Thank you. Oh, no, did you show them that when you were coming out already, Josh? If not, I'll let you show them the deck on the back porch. And then I think after you show them the deck, Josh, I want to tell you what, guys, we'll we'll push pause and then we'll take you upstairs to show you the second floor. That sound like a plan, Buck? Buck is... Okay, now we're upstairs here at 532 South Broad Street, but come on in here. There's three bedrooms up here. Two of the bedrooms are really good size. Third one we'll show is a little smaller, but perfect for kids or guest room or whatnot. But uh, this is... Well, in case you didn't know, this is Sawyer's room, but... Look at this little guy here Sawyer has. I don't know his name, but he's 29 years old. I actually looked at his ID earlier. Hey man, how you doing there? So again, what a, just a, what a cool fun house. Sawyer's not spoiled, is he? This kind of reminds me of uh, Jurassic Park going on in here, man. Hey Josh. All right, as we continue on our journey at 532 South Broad Street, Buck, I'll let you go first and Show them back in here. So this would be the smallest of the three bedrooms. You might not know it, but this is Hudson's room. I have a grandson named Hudson too. That's a real cool name. And then right there to Josh's left, that's the door that'll take you up to the attic then, but there's some items there in front of it. So, but the attic's just you know, storage floors, insulated very well, that sort of thing. Uh, Josh, I guess, I don't know if I even shared this with him, but if you show the ceiling there above Hudson's name there, that's the, the vent because you do have central air here. I think it's a dual fuel system. You have the electric, maybe heat pump, and then the natural gas for the heat. Um, I'll have to double check with that then. But um, but you do a nice, nice cooling system. All right, we'll continue on. And then Josh, I'll let you show them the bathroom here. Of course, we have the tub, and that's the ceiling light. And I guess uh, we'll go in here. And that's a one. That's a oh, that's a one piece, Josh. You don't have any. You have to do any caulking or anything around the edges in that. And of course, here you have the the vanity area and the, the throne. And uh oh, Josh, should we obey that sign? No, that would be really scary, wouldn't it? Then. And here you have a closet area. Now this is a nice feature. You have a second floor laundry. So literally, take your clothes at night, put them in here. You got a full washer, wash them, 
And now the owner, she does make the husband hang everything up. But if you're like me, you just keep you know, keep it in a basket and you just live out of baskets. And but isn't that a neat feature, Josh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we still have the master bedroom to show. Come on back. And again, here you're going to see uh, the flooring area. Here we have the natural wood floor here, and then I believe these are laminate floors. But uh, um, not a lot of carpet in the house. So if you have allergies or anything like that, that really is helpful. So look at this, Josh. I think what was going on here at one time is that there was a wall here. This was probably two bedrooms, probably had a doorway here. And then of course we have the two bedrooms here then, but now they have just one ginormous master bedroom then. And again, ginormous is a professional real estate term then, but what a big room, huh? Lots of sunlight coming in here. And then of course they use the second area kind of as a sitting area. And again, this has lots of natural lighting, lots of window space. So I don't know, I guess you could, you know, well again, there's a piece of exercise equipment then. You know what my exercise equipment gets used for, Josh? Hmm. It's perfect for drying your pants on. Yeah, if sure. you just put yeah. it over there. Yeah, absolutely. Now look at this here too, Josh. Big, big closet here. And just to let you guys know, this house will qualify very easily, maybe some minor things, if anything, for what we always refer to as the alphabet soup of financing them. FHA, PHFA, RHS, VA, I feel like I'm forgetting one in there, but any of those government-backed programs, this house would have very minor things to do to it, very low interest rates. So if you don't have a lot of cash to work with, um, there's programs where you can get in for no money down. You can even get some of your closing costs covered. If your credit's not the best, don't let that freak you out totally. Get a hold of Josh or I, and we'd be glad to talk to you about some financing programs that look at lower credit or maybe ways to get your credit improved so you can purchase in the future. If you have another house to sell, no big deal. Get a hold of us. We can talk to you about those things. Um, real close, like I said earlier, to the school, but also for commuters to 220, either if you're going to Lock Haven or State College, or if you're heading east and you're going towards Wingsport, Jersey Shore is just a real close in-between. Josh, anything else about this fine house that we can tell the audience? I think you got it. No, I think we did too. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for the tour. Josh and I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. Our telephone number is 398-0690. Josh's cell phone is 570-772-4764. Is that still your number, Josh? Yep. Okay, he has me blocked on there, so I can't really call him or text mm -hmm. him, but you guys can, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.